a lot of reps with uh, the ones and the twos, just how, how are things going? I mean, it's going real well. We got a, we got a great unit, great coaching staff, so they're all they're trying to mix this meet with everybody and do a lot more things with the tight ends in the field because uh, we had a really good spring. You know, our, our unit was really strong. Everybody in the, even the, the walk-ons on our team, they're all, they're all pushing us to be the best. So, uh, we're having a good spring right now. Our group won best unit of the whole winter, so they're trying to get us on the field as much as possible. I imagine it's pretty rare for a college football team to have all four scholarship tight ends who all played and all coming back for the next year. It's going to be because we'll talk about that and just what your thoughts are. I mean, yeah, when you, when you look at it, we're, we're obviously a pretty young team. We lost a lot of guys at the school positions, the linemen, uh, obviously Dwayne, but the only group that came with, almost, with everybody back was the tight end. So they're kind of leaning on us for some leadership. I'm leaning on the other guys for leadership, and uh, we really carried this, this, this team in, uh, in the weight room and uh, in the team runs and everything. So I'm really excited about our group. We're all doing really well. And, like I said, everybody from top to bottom in our group is just pushing each other to be the best. Coach Day said last week that you've been playing a little bit of H. What's that been like for you? Uh, we're just trying something new. You know, we're, we're spring, so we're putting a lot of stuff in. And uh, I'm cool with it. I like it. Uh, so uh, whatever I can to help the team win, whatever they want me to do, I, I'm down to do it. What are the different things you have to do when you're playing that role versus playing as a tight end? Uh, I'd say I can uh, kind of think. i got to think at, at a different position, obviously, because I'm not really attached to the ball. Looking at the, the defensive technique and everything about that, so I'm just looking at like either with the coverage or something like that. So obviously that, but I'm just trying to go play. So whatever they want me to do, I'll just go play. You know, we got a lot of depth at tight end, so that, helped, that allows me to do that. And uh, learning from the older guys at age two, KJ, I'm learning a lot from them, watching them, CJ. So it's, uh, it's definitely something I'm learning, and, and it's something I'm willing to do. It's anything to help the team. I know you played some receiver in high school. Does that kind of help with that transition that you've kind of you've been a receiver before? No doubt. I mean, uh, I'm kind of going back to my own stopping ground, so it's kind of, it's kind of a lot of fun going out there and uh, being allowed to do my thing. So, like I said before, though, anything to help the team. We got a good uh, young quarterback competition. They're all looking really well. Uh, wide receivers are looking really well, so I'm really excited about this group. The last time on Ohio State uh, tight end caught 30 passes or more in the season was 2003. Did you know that? Does that surprise you? Uh, it doesn't really surprise me because. When you think about Ohio State, they just they put their best players in the situation to make the best plays. So uh, we've had some great tight ends come through. A lot of them are in the league right now. Uh, Marcus in the AF doing a lot of things. Caught a touchdown the other day. So I mean, whoever's the best player is going to get the ball. That's how, that's how Coach Day is. That's how Coach Wilson is. So us coming in, having a great win, it was huge. You know, our group's really deep. So I think that it's very it's very possible to happen this year, and uh, we'll keep fighting. For it. You mentioned those quarterbacks, just Justin and Matt. What's it been like building a rapport with those guys? I mean, they're both really smart guys. That's what they, they obviously can throw. They obviously can run around a little bit, but they're really smart. They're learning really well. It's, uh, it looks like a good competition. They're both really getting to feel the offense, which is tough. We have a tough offense, so I think they're both doing a really good job, and I'm excited to see how it works out. You mentioned that you've been working receiver a little bit in, in the new offense, but you, back in high school, that was your position. Not many people know that. You weren't really a tight end in high school. What is what is that process? What, what was that process like adapting to tight end last year? And where do you feel like you're at now? I think last year last year was huge for me. You know, um, getting my feet wet in, in between the in between the tackles and and getting my uh, head in there. So I think it was really good for me. But like you said, I used to play all, all receiver in high school. My first day playing tight end was last summer camp. So uh, you know, it was a really good transition last year. Seeing seeing playing in games every game, just like seeing what it takes to be on the field and and now being able to use my skill set with the rest of the tight ends because we're all like I keep saying we're all old group come back, so we're able to be on the field a lot more. What? So, Sorry, playing behind Luke and Rashad, what did you take away from those guys when you were a freshman, and how are, how are you working that into what you're doing this spring? I mean, I wouldn't even just say Luke and Rashad. Jake was a big help. Uh, even the walk-ons with it, Derek was a big help. Uh, they really just told me uh, everything I needed to know about where to line up, where the signals were, because that was the toughest part coming in, was thinking so much pre-play, not thinking about the play exactly. So now I feel like I got a big rest, learning from them about everything, and, and being more confident on the field so I can look at what the defense is doing, play more. Uh, reacted instead of just thinking about everything that's coming at me. Was this a change you expected coming in into your second year? I mean, coming in as a receiver, playing tight end. Did you expect to come in as a receiver? Uh, they've, always spoke, they've always talked about it. I mean, uh, we haven't been doing too much of that, so I don't want to say that I'm just playing receiver now. Uh, I've obviously, I'm, we're still playing and attached to the ball a lot more. Two tight ends attached to the ball. So we're just trying new things, new offense. and. I'm not going to say I expected it, but uh, we, we've talked about it before, and I'm excited to keep it going. Is blocking the biggest adjustment to, to coming from high school to college ball? Is it blocking for a guy like you, or what's the biggest uh, adjustment? I wouldn't say just blocking. I would say pass blocking, so that's something I'm really trying to work on with Coach Hinton. Uh, I played defense a lot in high school, so the physicality wasn't really a big question for me, but it's more about the technique. So I've, I've been really working on it with Luke, Rashad, all the guys staying after, and I feel like I've gotten a really good grasp of it and, and really confident in my technique and, and my work ethic is – you can worry about all the technique you want. If you don't have the strain and the drive to keep going every play, finishing every play, you're not going to do anything. So I think that's what they've taught me the most is whatever you do, just strain, finish the play, ride with the culture that's that's been set here, and, and then you'll be all right from there. You were a big-time recruit. Was it was it kind of Ohio State all the way once you guys built a relationship, or was there like a close second? Like, what, just uh, reflect on your recruitment a little bit. Uh, I would say it was pretty much Ohio State all the way. Everybody was kind of behind. I was just At the end, I was kind of just visiting to see if I was making the right choice. 
I wasn't going to see if I, I, was, I knew going in that Ohio State was my number one, so I didn't want to make the wrong decision. So I would go visit and see, and, and just everywhere I went, I was just like, it don't compare. So, you know, it was a really, really like, it felt home here, so that's why I made the decision, because I'm, I'm really big in my home. Sorry, how do these, these practices feel compared to the ones of your freshman year? Do you feel more comfortable at this point? Like, I definitely feel more comfortable. Uh, Coming into last year, I was just, like I said, thinking about everything, trying to think too much, and I feel like that made me not play as well. So now coming in, we had a whole offseason to, to study film, study tape, and, and just worry about my, my technique, so that comes more natural now. And now I can just react to the defense, like I said, and, and just go from there. How much does it help having a winner of working out with Mickey Marotti under your belt and going through all that? Oh, it's huge. Just thinking about it. I wish I came last spring. You know, he, he uh, not only does he get you tough and, and your body in shape, but, you know, like the mental toughness is the biggest thing. Coming at 4.30 in the morning, going to match drills, you know, there's nothing like it. You just, you know, you know it's going to be hard. You know it's going to be tough. And, and it's so competitive that if you don't bring your A game every day, you'll get exposed. What's your weight at now and what was it when you came in? I came in about 237 around there. And right now I'm about 51. So uh, I gained a lot of weight, but... We've been, they've been on me for my body scans and everything, so uh, my body my body fat percentage is right about where it was when I came in. So I gained good weight. I feel like I can still move pretty well, and, and that's all credit to Coach Mick and his staff. Jeremy, it seemed like most of the time we got to see you in a game last year, you were doing more blocking. Than, than Pat. Was that like just being baptized? How would you describe? I mean, I guess you could say it like that. Uh, last year we had, uh, as you can see, three wide receivers that are about to go get drafted. So uh, obviously we had a, we had a, a lot of depth in the, in the wide receivers. So. They used us tight ends a lot more in, in the pass protection and, and run blocking game. So I think it was a really great thing for my freshman year to come in like that and really focus on, on getting my feet in the ground and, and learning the technique. So now this year, I just feel like it's more second nature and I can just go back to it and really focus on working on my pass game and everything else. I'm not trying to get you to brag on yourself, but do you feel like you give this offense some flexibility from a scheme standpoint with your ability to to split the same, um, so to speak. I think, I think my ability can really help that, but I think I gotta give it to, uh, our unit is so strong that we can have multiple tight ends in the field, and that causes a lot of matchup problems. So the fact that the fact that I'm able to go out wide and make plays on the, on the perimeter is, it helps a lot, but I think the fact that we have a bunch of strong tight ends that can play tight end, and then allow me to go out and play wide receiver a lot more is gonna cause a lot of problems. So, you know, I think it's really important that we, that we focus on my group, my group strength this off season, because that was the biggest thing, I think. Well, one of the quickie, uh, have you noticed any different scheme-wise or additions with Coach Yersich now on board, what have you, I don't know if you remember watching Oklahoma State at all in the past, but have you seen any of that kind of sneak in? Uh, definitely, I know, I've obviously heard about his offenses, they're always leading the Big Ten, they're always up there, so the thing about Coach Yersich, he brings a lot of energy before in, uh, in the stretching lines and everything, he just running around jumping on people, trying to get you fired up for practice, so I think he brings a lot of good energy as well as a lot of football IQ, so I sat down in meetings with him and Coach Day one day in the offensive staff room on just uh, off day, and I was just listening to how they talk about football, and it's just, you can just take so much in like a sponge just absorb the way they talk about the game because they break it down to so many levels where you don't even think about it. so it's really cool to sit down and listen to them talk football because there's no one really you can talk to that's better at it.